Well, I am thrilled to be joined by two very tanned, gorgeous people straight off the Love Island, Zara and Adam. Absolutely incredible for our Facebook Live. So welcome to our Facebook Live, Zara. What's it like being out of the villa? It's uh, it's a little bit crazy, a yeah. little bit of a whirlwind, very busy, don't know what sleep is anymore, but all good, enjoying it. And you're both together, which is incredible. Yeah. Adam, I mean, lovely, Re really lovely, lovely story, yes. Yeah, Be happy ending. Happy, happy ending for you, because <laughs> let's let's not lie, a few people were like, oh, Adam, and I think you're actually, you are a nice guy. <laughs> oh, th thank you. <laughs> what do you, what do you think? That makes yeah, I think. I think, to be honest, I think he's been quite misunderstood okay. in the Good. villa. Yeah. I think that he kind of, he went, he didn't play it safe and he never played it safe. And But I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I okay. think that like, why would you settle for something that you weren't 100% on? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're in that environment and it's a game, it's a competition. Yeah, it is a game. And you kind of encourage some of the other guys to start making well, moves as well. Which what is would you do in the real world at that point when you've been seeing someone for 24 hours? I think yeah. I was just the only one that wasn't scared to do it maybe. Yeah. Um, and then when I did really like someone, you could probably tell. Okay. Everybody, ar everybody around us could tell. So that's, that's all it was. And what about the reaction since you've been out? Are you happy with the reaction so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been pretty positive i think adam's a bit of a changed man now uh, which is all good <laughs> takes one girl doesn't it takes, takes one, one girl. girl but i think you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt i mean okay. there's always going to be good there's always going to be bad but again you don't know what people have seen i mean the people at yes. home have seen all of the episodes i've seen three okay so how can i judge on what they've seen and call someone out on it if they've said a bad thing about me they've seen a different person yeah or they've seen what they've seen anyway so is there anything that you saw of yourself that you were kind of like, oh, I wish they hadn't shown that. Was there anything you saw? Not really, not okay. at all. All I would have said was, I wish the argument that I had with Rosie was argument, whatever. I wish it was longer. I wish it was, <laughs> okay. I wish it was longer yeah. because people <laughs> really? would have, No, not the argument was longer. I wish they'd shown more of the argument. Okay. Because the way it looked, they've got to get the main points in and none of those main points were mine. Okay, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> yeah true. So, I mean. <laughs> It probably didn't look the best, but I know what I signed up to too. Okay. And I think all of the repercussions because of that, considering Rosie's the person involved and she's backed me up in front of every interview yeah. as well and said, not backed me up, but she said by no means it was abuse or anything like that. I think that speaks wonders. Yeah. And I did see Rosie pop up in your Instagram story. Are you, you guys are friends outside the island. Yeah, like. we're, we're honestly absolutely fine. I think like what happened in the villa kind of stays there. And obviously it was a sticky situation for the both of us. Yeah. Like honestly, if it was it was equally as like uncomfortable for the both of us. I don't think that was truly got across how uncomfortable it was for me as well. Yeah, I'm imagine. quite I can be a bit socially awkward. So <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, we we're absolutely fine. I really like her, she's a really lovely girl. So do you think like is there anyone in your opinion that's kind of been portrayed since coming out and watching it differently to what you know them as? I'm a huge fan of Georgia and I feel like mm -hmm. the last week she's really not come across that well and I really yeah. like her. Do do they you know, do, do you I think that happens? I would say Megan. Megan. Okay. I would say she's the only person that's probably had it as bad as me. And <laughs> I honestly we really get on with Megan. And if you spoke to Megan okay. you would change your opinion. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, because she doesn't really. Yeah, she doesn't hasn't really said much in the last week, and she almost like she's coming across as though she's been quite scheming, and and she's not. She just literally her and El did not click, okay. and I saw it from day one. They would avoid each other around the villa and never spend any time yeah. together. And I walked in thinking that is really weird, and then she said, "I, I like Wes. I really like him." They spent a, they spent some time together. They had some good laughs, and I was I was observing it, yeah. and I was like, well. I don't see why sh they shouldn't, like why they wouldn't get on. And then they pursued it. But she's almost been portrayed as this really kind of scheming individual when she's not. She's not. Yeah. Okay. So, it, you know, they can kind of, the producers can work their magic and make people look the way they want to. So I just think it's more about um, the obviously killer things that have happened in the villa. The killer bits of drama have been okay. Megan's ever turning head. But... <laughs> In reality. Well, Adam, you had one of those. Well, <laughs> this is the thing. Everybody has a journey when they're in there. Yeah. And if I was the pantomime villain, I was. And I knew that that was going to be the situation from when I came in. But the problem was they sent a girl in that I did, did really like too early. That was the only thing. Because I could have I could have probably went and been that person all the way through okay. until Zara oh, came Zara. in. Zara, we could have had a great show. No, Why do you have to what, but right. what I'm saying is... Everybody is going to have the ups and everyone's going to have the downs yeah. and you've just got to trust the process and hope that by the end you, it comes back around your way. Okay. And be honest, hair and makeup, 
do you guys all do that yourselves? Yeah, girls do. all do their own makeup. Except if there's like a party night, so we had the Rimmel party with the glitter tattoos yeah. and stuff. So they came in and they did our tattoos and stuff. But no, we, we don't get hair and makeup done. We don't get styled, nothing like that. We get some clothes from Misguided every now and again, but that's it. Wes it's did my eyebrows once. Wes did, yeah. well he does have, <laughs> he does have really yeah. good eyebrows, doesn't yeah. he? What's he like? So do you think him and Megan will last? Like, are they a good couple? I don't know if they're gonna last because you can never tell on the outside, but okay. I think they're really good together. Yeah. The way they go on in there. So hopefully I am rooting for them, yeah. Okay, and you guys were hanging out with Sam and Frankie the other day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are they gonna last? Because he turned up at the airport for her yeah. and we were kind of like, she left for him, which was... Do you know I what? questioned Frankie, sorry, yeah. sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> no, but it's No, okay. I think that Frankie, I was surprised the other night when I saw them okay. and it was really nice. And, and I think, think you would agree. Yeah, like I didn't, obviously didn't know Frankie, I knew Samira really well. Yeah. Didn't know Frankie, wasn't sure, hadn't seen enough of him to really gauge how he felt about Samira. But then chatting to him yesterday, we were just both saying how beautiful she is. And he yeah. was like, oh my God, he's really gushing about her. And I thought, oh my That's God, she's cute. finally found her Prince Charming, which is good. So it, the test is really when you come out of the villa and I see how it so. works. Yeah. I think okay. so, because you're, when you're in there, you're in a bubble and all you have to focus on is each other. All you have to talk about is your feelings. That's all, that's all you can talk about, really. That's all, yeah. you, that's all you want to talk about and all you need to talk about. Whereas when you're on the outside, the distractions are real. Like, there's distractions everywhere. There's, like, not distractions in a bad way, but there's so much more going on in your yeah. life. You don't have... You can't focus 100% on that person. So I think, yeah, I think there is a big test when you come out. It's like, this worked in in theory but will it actually work okay. and I think especially yeah. for me I've got to think about everything now just okay. not not because I, I've stepped out of line or anything just because you've just got to the way it looks the way it can be portrayed in the public eye okay and you two you're both living together now so is that unofficially, I mean, unofficially living together locally yeah so it's going well yeah like really you, well. Do, you can't even answer you're both just smiling which is absolutely <laughs> lovely yeah. I'll, I'll let, make so it less awkward nice. who do we who do we think is going to win Right, Jack and Danny practically, but I would like an underdog to take it. And I think you've yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. And if that underdog could be anyone, who do you think? I'd Alex. love it to be Alex, I really would. Yep. <laughs> not too sure about Alex. Alex is very I'm awkward not, to watch, I have to say. I'm not too sure about <laughs> Alex at the moment. I don't know. Um, I maybe Josh and Kaz. Josh and Kaz. Josh and Kaz they are really great. look in love. They're, yeah, they're you know, really, they really, really look in love. I yeah. did love Georgia, but I was like, you have to admit, they do look like they're really they in love. Too. Well, listen, enjoy your stay in Dublin. Thank I'm you. sure you guys are going to be mad busy. You're gonna, going on a tour for months, aren't you? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty so much. But they're all around Zara's house, closer than mine. Perfect. Well, it was so lovely to chat to you and enjoy your stay in Dublin. And we're launching Love Island Australia. That's why these two are here. It's meant to be absolutely mad. Have I'm you seen excited any? to see it. It's, got, it's even crazier than the UK version. Yeah, Is you should have You should have gone on that. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got a guy that's half Irish. They're go you're going to find out what a brogan is and um, a kangaterian. Kind and it is what it sounds like. So it's starting July 23rd on 3E at 5 past 10. It's going to overlap with the UK version just for a week. And then you can get really stuck into it. Well, that's it for me. We'll wave just because <laughs> the live might take a while to end. So wave for a while. <laughs> we'll awkwardly chat.